Hi everyone, it's Nancy here. I'm back with another process video for you. And this is my first video using my um, creative team um, goodies from Halo Magpie. And um, I decided to just do quite a simple layout to start with. Um, I had this piece of highline paper um, that was lying around. And so I decided that the colours actually worked quite well with the fancy pants papers that I got. Um, I did post a haul video which kind of showed all of that and um, the products I got in more detail. Um, I now want to use these brag cards as part of this. So I'm just having a flick through and I want to um, actually cut these ones apart. It was a 4x6 um, one but I decided to, I just wanted to use the love. And I'm actually going to use that as part of my title. And I really, I really love the colours of this um, collection um, and I decided to use that um, turquoise cardstock. Um, there's not actually turquoise in, um, there's a kind of a light blue in this um, Fancy Pants collection but not turquoise. Um, so I decided that would just help make everything pop. Um, here you'll see that I'm just kind of cutting my papers around um, because I don't want to use them all up and I'm just starting to add some layers behind. And these are full photos that um, were from my birthday and they were of me and my boyfriend and I just collated them um, using the pick frame app on my iPhone. Um, those of you that have watched my videos before will know that I'm quite a fan of that app and then I just import it into Photoshop to print that out. You can see I am taking out that piece of camera paper from the Fancy Pants Miology collection and I've just cut a camera out there because I know that I want to layer that in my top cluster. And I'm now just digging through the die cut pack and pulling out and seeing what can work. So I pulled out a little chevron arrow and some other arrows. I pulled out that stylized feather. Um, I thought I was going to have trouble using that feather so I decided to get it on like my first layout and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. And really it's just a layering piece there. Um, one of the die cut pieces had um, the word you and I'm going to again use that to form part of my title. And I, said, I really love the um, the qu thickness and the quality of this of the paper from Fancy Pants. Um, this is a really nice collection. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to um, fussy cut out that camera and that was the main purpose for me actually buying that 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I knew that I wanted to cut it up and use the cameras. I don't think I will use any of it um, as actually a paper, um, you know, a full piece of paper. Um, I really like the idea of being able to cut all those bits out. So here I am um, just taking my um, American Crafts um, DIY um, brayer and this is the small heart design. And I'm just using my black ink to create some texture in the background. And I just overlay this and um, sort of ghost ink it, so I just use it until actually there's no ink left on the roller. And I really like um, when it overlaps and things as well. And then I just added a little bit of black mist. Um, I have decided that I'm going to outline um, all of the elements in black. And I'm just using my little um, Tim Holtz inker tool there. And inking has become um, something I'm kind of quite back into at the moment. I kind of hadn't bothered for a while um, but I really kind of like the effect and especially with these really bold colours and black is quite key in the design as well for this um, paper collection and so I just wanted to add a little bit of black to make everything pop and also like that black journaling card where the edges were were white anyway so that annoyed me slightly so I just wanted to make sure I'd inked everything, I even inked the edge of this paper because I know I was going to stick it um, to this highline piece of paper. And um, as you'll know if you watch my videos for a while, if you're new to this you wouldn't, I often got out the back of my piece of paper to then mount my photo on. So I just think it makes the whole layout look quite cohesive. I'm now just trying to get everything um, placed back how I wanted it. And that's often the trouble <laughs> when it comes to start um, gluing bits and pieces down. Um, and I really like using, um, you know, these pocket page cards um, for part of my titles if I can, and also cutting elements out of them. 
So I'm just layering up those border pieces to help add um, a different layer in. And I really love that chevron paper, which is why I cut that middle bit out because I didn't want to waste it behind that photo. Um, as you know, I did only buy the 6x6 paper pad um, for this. And so I was being a little bit frugal on how I was using everything. So here I am just working on that top cluster. Um, just sticking bits and pieces down. I'm going to fuss with that feather a little bit. And then I'm going to stick that camera that I cut out. And there's also um, a flare. And that is one of the Halo Magpie exclusive flares. And it says me and you. And it actually works really well with this collection. And I've also got um, a couple of little flowers which are also from the die cut pack. Here I am just sticking down that little bit of my title. And then I'm using one of the arrows from the die cut pack as well. I got the alpha that went with um, this collection. And um, my title is going to be I love you infinity plus one um, basically it's a silly little thing between me and my boyfriend it really annoys him because um, he'll go I love you um, or we'll argue or even and he'll go um, yeah you know yeah I'm right times infinity and I'll go ah, infinity plus one um, which really annoys him um, <laughs> and we argue about the concept of infinity and stuff like that so <laughs> this layout is really for him and it's kind of a little in joke with us I really love the Fancy Pants letter stickers and they are flat letter stickers, you know, which I don't necessarily always prefer um, but I really love how vibrant these are um, but in making this layout I think I used all but one of the eyes didn't really kind of think about that and these are DIY um, Shot Simple Stories on little tie letter stickers and these work brilliantly with this collection because the colours are so bold and bright they actually work really well so I'm just using that as my um, part of my subtitle. Um, they also have little word phrases and so I'm just going to use one of those in that top cluster as well and just to cover a little awkward little space there at the side. Um, I really like you know how they look, they just add a little pop of colour. Um, I'm now taking out the little wood sequins and um, I absolutely love them. Um, I do keep finding them everywhere because the box did kind of break and they, they scattered everywhere. Um, but they are so lovely and I love adding wood veneers to my layouts. I think it really adds um, something. So I really, really, really love them and I'm just going to add them around to each of the clusters. I decide um, to cut out another camera and add it there because there was a little bit of an empty space um, above that title card. So I'm just taking a couple of strips of paper as well that I had um, left and I'm just inking those up. Um, one of those is also off the sticker sheet. And again it just fills in that little bit of a space and it kind of works in a little bit of a visual triangle there. And I always find it very difficult doing the first layout with a, um, a pile of new stash because there's so many choices and you've not necessarily looked at everything um, lots to know what's there. So um, I would say this layout was pretty quick. It took me about 35 minutes, um, which is quite a quick layout for me. Normally I take about sort of 45 to 50 minutes, not that it's a competition. And so this did come together quite quickly. Um, but it's kind of one of my sort of go-to designs really. So I'm just adding that extra camera and then popping down um, those um, wood veneers and they are so beautiful. I love them and I've got so many of them. <laughs> so really you know I'm not afraid to just scatter them on every project and you will see that um, there is a series um, of these um, videos that I've made with this kit that will be up on my channel this week. So please do come back if it's something you know you've enjoyed watching and as I said you will see me use those with veneers in lots of different ways so thank you very much guys for watching I will put some closer images at the end and I hope to see you all again soon bye